Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to create a new sandbox project for your island environment, which is an update to Bill's video called Terrain Tools Part 1, or on YouTube it's called Terrain 01. So the process is a bit different than what he's showing you because there's a newer version of Unity out. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to create new in, uh, in the Unity Hub, create new project, and I'm going to name it Sandbox. I want to make sure that the 3D setting is checked, and I want to make sure that the location is inside of my project folder. Currently I have mine on my desktop, but you may have yours on another hard drive and I'm going to click create. My project took a few minutes to create in Unity but now that it's created I have my project open and what's really important for creating your island environment are some standard assets. Those include characters, effects, particle systems, and environment. Now these need to be downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. And I just want to show you that in Blackboard, this week I have um, some updates, uh, or uh, an updates to video tutorials, and it shows you that uh, it, there's a link to the standard assets in the Unity Asset Store. So let me go ahead and click on that. And this is a free package that has everything that you need to get started. And I already have mine downloaded, but if you, uh, if, if you don't, then you're going to want to download this. But as it is, mine says Open in Unity, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, and then inside of my Package Manager, it shows standard assets in the list, and I've got a lot of other assets that I've already downloaded, um, but right now I don't have any of these assets imported into this current project. I'm just going to, for the moment, stick with standard assets. So I want to make sure that that's selected. I'm going to hit Import. And then I'm going to choose uh, from the Import Unity Package window, I'm going to choose Import again. Okay, again, that took a, a minute or so to import. So now we can close out of our Package Manager. And we see that the Standard Assets folder has appeared under our Assets inside the project window. And if we open up that standard assets folder, if we kind of unfold it and look at what's inside, uh, we have a number of different types of assets. We have characters, and what you're going to be working with in this project is the first person character um, folder. And you're going to need the prefab. When you get to that point, this prefab you are going to need, let's make this a list view, you're going to need FPS controller. That's the one that you're going to be bringing into your scene. All right, and then you've got effects, environment, particle systems. Those are some of the other things that you're going to need. So you may also decide to, uh, when you get to creating your environment, you may also decide to download some other free assets. There are a lot of materials that you can use, rocks, um, sand. Uh, you may need to import some trees, um, that sort of thing. But when you're in the Unity Asset Store, make sure you're searching for free asset packages that you can download. All right, um, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to check under our console window. 
So under console, there's a lot of warnings and there's some errors, um, compiler errors that we should take a look at. So we're going to need to fix these. And the way you can do that is to, um, let's go back to the updates to video tutorials. Let's go to this website All right, what we're going to need to do is scroll down to where it says fixing the standard assets and let's go ahead and download the zip file. What I'm going to do is um, right click it, choose open with Unity, uh, the most recent version that you're using, and then choose import from this import Unity package. All right, so now when we go to console, um, we still do have some warnings, but we do not have any of these compiler errors. So the compiler errors, there's a little, looks like a little stop sign shape, it's red. And if we had any compiler errors, right now it's saying zero, if we had any compiler errors, we would not be able to run our game. So that would, that would stop us from actually creating our game. These warnings shouldn't be cause for concern. They shouldn't stop your game from running. We can see in these warnings that what's generating the, um, the warning and it's a particular asset. So in this one, it's called sample scenes. It's ground runway. It's a, it's a model that was imported from uh, software called Blender and that's what's generating the error or the, uh, the warning. So we can find that under, under assets, sample scenes, models. Um, we can see here's ground runway, um, FBX. So you know you, you could just leave these alone as long as you're not using them. Uh, you could remove them from your assets by deleting them if you want to. But uh, again, as long as you don't have any of the um, any of these these compiler errors, which at right now we have zero, we should be good to go. So one thing that I'd like to just mention is that when you're uh, following the tutorials and you're, you're building your island and you're adding assets, uh, one way that you can find where to locate an asset or maybe the easiest way if you're not familiar with the, um, with the standard assets package is to just use this little search feature so you know if you're looking for FPS controller then here it is and you can just take this and drag that into your scene if you're looking for water you can search for water and there's quite a few different uh, assets that are water but what you're looking for and what you want to use is the one called water Pro daytime and you're going to use this prefab object okay so that's really important that you choose this and again you can just drag this prefab um, object right into your scene like that okay